Hey guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome back to It's Pooja Mahapatra. So in today's topic, I'm going to talk about pathology as you have seen in the thumbnail. And you know, my exams are going on and I have recorded my microbiology part as well. And I say that I'm doing it uh, right just before the exams because you know and also in between the exams because the videos are gonna be much more raw and I will not forget things like uh, it happens right when you are in the process it is much more easier to do and tell things my exam is tomorrow and uh, I hope it goes well anyways so the thing is pathology what does that mean patho pathogenesis pathology that means something which deviates from the normal right so this is the simplest sentence to describe what is pathology deviating from normal and in this part we come across the diseases like in this part you actually are gonna face all those diseases that you have heard and you are gonna explore those diseases and also in this part you are gonna have the combination of pathology and physiology so there you are gonna read about pathophysiology of all the diseases and yes you are aware of the diseases uh, because you have studied physiology and you know right now in this part the most most important things are inflammation wound healing and uh, you know how this pathogenesis occur and which organisms are causing them you are going to study it in microbiology so these subjects are kind of connected everything is connected in science but still uh, in pathology you will feel a little scared because you know many of us have studied it and we thought like oh my god i think i have this pathogenesis it it happened to our minds you know so it is like a kind of strange because when you're studying diseases uh, you understand them and sometimes uh, there are a lot of diseases which have same kind of features so you feel like maybe i have this maybe my friend have this so uh, it's kind of funny as well but without further ado let's get into the video straight so i'm not gonna go into the detail on the theory part because theory you can complete yourself you can study though i'm gonna give you a brief about what are the chapters uh, just for the people who don't know and have haven't bought the books and are just curious the theory it consists of two parts part a and part b part a consists of general pathology and part b consists of systemic pathology and the general pathology has four sections the first one is the cell in health and disease the second one is inflammation and healing immunity and hypersensitivity infection and infestation this is a very important chapter then we have fluid and hemodynamic disorders and then we have neoplasia this is another important chapter and in systemic pathology we have hematology and lymphoreticular tissues and then we have selected topics for systemic pathology so you know here we have all the oral parts as well diseases of oral cavity and salivary glands which is very important for us as a dental students so yeah this is all about the chapters now coming back to the practical we had only like a very few classes on pathology and we were not much of a revision class on pathology so we had very difficulty understanding them because it was so much random and uh, you know in this year as we are giving two prof in one year you know because the covid situation has gone now and we are going to give the second year in the same year we have given our first year prof so it just took like six months to complete pathology so the thing is we had like completed the practicals like before time the most difficult part because we didn't know that uh, these are the things we need to study we haven't studied instruments okay so instruments are being asked so instruments will be as a spotter in practicals when you are gonna go into the practical class and then you are gonna do all the spotters and the microscopes and each and everything you are gonna face the spotters of the instruments and also those instruments will be kept in viva as well like the teacher will be asking you viva and if he or she wants they can just ask you which instrument is it and then few questions about it maybe it's much more important to identify which instrument is used like i'm gonna give you a few examples first one is vials this is a very common thing we have also studied it in biochemistry as well so vials are of four colors that we have to study that is one is lavender color one is blue color one is gray color and one is red color now 
after identifying the colors you have to write which colored vial is used for what purpose so for example the lavender colored vial is used for edta the blue colored vial is used for citrate gray colored vial is used for fluoride and the red one is for non-coagulant uh, you can give the topic name as urine because these are related to urine like for example these instruments are used in the purpose of urine test like urinometer s bags albinometer and reagent strips under hemoglobin you can have this instrument hemoglobinometer that is silase one that we have studied in physiology and there is also the pipette that you have to identify then coming to the next part is there is a l block instrument which looks like l and you have tissue box you also have slide that is the easiest you have cover slip and another easy one is a normal syringe you have lancelet you have wintrobes tube ascending which is used for pcv that means packed cell volume right and the same wintrobes tube descending is for esr erythrocyte sedimentation rate then you have western grains pipette of 300 mm then you also have modified newborn's chamber then you have wbc pipette and rbc pipette the color suggests that the WPC one is white and the RBC is red but uh, there is a very minute distinction if you see the instrument properly the RBC pipette has numbering of 101 that means 101 whereas the WPC pipette has numbering of only 1111 so this is how you can differentiate so this is all we have been shown in our college before our exams so that we can at least have the idea of instruments for the practical purpose now coming to the practical part that we have given in the internals is when we enter the pathology lab we have to first do a urine test and uh, then there will be instruments kept over there using all those things you have to do the urine test and then you have to write in the paper what procedures did you use then you have to do the Lisman staining of WBC so this is the most important part and it consists of 20 marks so as i have said in the microbiology part as well because those microbiology and pathology are combined we have 35 marks as written and 65 marks as in practical so it takes a huge amount of marks right in practicals so the Lisman standing you have done it in first year it's really easy just what you need to do is you have to focus the microscope so in first year we were not that much supposed to do that because teachers did, didn't uh, at least in my college during my examination they didn't check that much but in second year you have to have to focus it both in microbiology and pathology so you have to focus and my focus was really really good and uh, if you can focus it and there will be some questions asked about it you have to say them what you are seeing and by looking at the nucleus you know what is neutrophil basophil eosinophil monocyte lymphocyte looks like right so you just have to give that answers and few more questions can be asked and that's it that's it for the practical and then you also have the spotter part as i have said and there are three spotters uh, basically for the microscopic purpose and the slides are of squamous cell carcinoma and then you also have squamous cell papilloma also adenocarcinoma is there so these are basically the things that you will be offered in your second year pathology class and you will understand them when the classes actually starts and uh, this are just some basic information so that you guys can understand before the classes begin you know for me it is always i'm like always so curious about things and uh, it literally gives me much more energy just makes me more keen towards the subject like if i know about them uh, in the basic form so that i can just understand what the other person is trying to convey about that subject so this is it for pathology and I will see you guys in the next video and I will definitely share about pharmacology as well in the next video. So do check out if you haven't checked the microbiology part and then I am gonna upload more about all these topics. I hope that you have a wonderful BDS journey and wishing you all a very very good luck and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then take care. Bye.